The Interfaith Mediation Center Cardinal orders Nigerian youth to engage in peaceful dialogue instead of mass protests over fuel price hikes and high living costs. The center warns that unorganized protests can lead to religious and ethnic conflicts as Nigeria's religious sensitivities are known to be sensitive. Now, the center also highlights that peaceful demonstrations can be hijacked by malicious actors, resulting in violence, looting, and property destruction. So the fact that protest is, if not organized, in, the most, in most cases, usually escalate into various kinds of conflict. Hence, religious conflict cannot be ruled out, given the tendency and sensitivity to religion as, and as one of the most religious sensitive nation in the world. In on the scale of those cautionary statements against any form of protest at the moment, we will follow where the pendulum swing to add our voices to say Nigerian cannot survive on protest but continue to explore dialogue and prayer. It's an indisputable fact that Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa. Hence, her stability is the stability of Africa as a continent. There was a national protest regarding hunger, high cost of living, and insecurity resulting from stringent measures taken by the present administration of President Bola Ahmad Tinobu in our effort to better economy, the economy. This step taken has, taught, has brought untold hardship on the citizens, both big and small. It is difficult to manage and control crowd around and during protests. The recent experiences in the country is a clear attestation to this assertion. Imam Mohammed Ashafa, co-chair of the Mediation Center, emphasized the frustration and center of Niger concern of Nigerians urgent reconsideration of uh, the protest and also peaceful resolutions with political leaders. He called for government engagement, town hall meetings and community engagement and urged prayers for peace and unity. As parents who have children in the schools, it became imperative on us to make this clarion call that uh, it is one thing to start a protest, but we do not know how this protest will end. We are calling on our children to think and restrain themselves from going out. By addressing the youth too, we are also addressing women. They should hold their children, their words, call them in school. I think there is a better way to do this rather than engaging on this kind of protest that may end up being hijacked. We hereby use this medium at all levels to apply the medium of dialogue to engage with all relevant stakeholders. That by listening to the union of the citizens, we should believe we promote peace and stability for the common good of all. A charter of demand to all our political appointees to take us out of this quagmire toward a solution-driven democratic process. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.